Hey, this is Mike McCabe. The story that Keisha told is not only really powerful, but it's all too familiar nowadays in this country. We've got a big problem with our criminal justice system, and here we are in, in a state like Wisconsin where we spend more of our state budget on prisons than on the whole university system combined. And you can't avoid the topic of race when you talk about the criminal justice problem, because basically what's happened in this country is that we've seen a new Jim Crow constructed. When the old Jim Crow, those old segregation laws were swept away by civil rights legislation, those who sought that kind of social control went about building a new Jim Crow. One of the legs it stands on is voter suppression policies. Another leg it stands on is mass incarceration. And the third leg it stands on is a changing in the whole approach to policing. Policing used to be about protect and serve. And those words appeared on just about every squad car across the country. Now it seems like the mission of today's police forces is intimidate and control. We've got to change that philosophy. We've got to get back to protect and serve. And there's got to be real accountability for policing. When officers wear those body cameras, it can't be left to police departments to choose whether to share what is captured with the public. That's got to be public information. There's got to be real accountability. We've got to deal with the underlying causes then of mass incarceration. You know, Minnesota across the border imprisons half as many people as Wisconsin, and yet imprisoning twice as many people here hasn't reduced crime. We, the two states have virtually identical crime rates. The, the bottom line is we've got to stop locking up so many nonviolent offenders. And that's one of the reasons why I've come out for full legalization of marijuana. We've got to stop locking people up who have not committed violent acts or damaged property. Second thing is we've got to change the pardon policy in Wisconsin. The governor will not consider any pardons under any circumstances. That's a mistake. If somebody is behind bars because, and, and they haven't committed a violent act or damaged property, they, sh they should have a pardon considered and granted. And then thirdly, we've got to deal with the reality of crimeless parole revocation. If somebody's been convicted of something, done their time, is back out on the, in the community working and paying taxes, they should not be sent back behind bars without committing a new crime. Sometimes as simple as missing a meeting with a parole officer has put people back behind bars. We can cut our prison population in half in Wisconsin, and we can have a budget that doesn't spend more locking people up than it does on unlocking human potential if we make those changes.